Hey everyone, welcome to Fundamentals of Natural Gas Trading for Beginners, presented by Risk Premium Media. I'm your host, Charles, and I've got an awesome course for you today. This is for everyone who wants to, wants to learn the basics of natural gas fundamentals. It doesn't matter if you're a retail trader just starting out on your own, or a junior trader starting out in a natural gas company, or just someone who's interested in the real world applications of economic principles of supply and demand. I myself am a professional trader and a lifelong student of economics, and I'm going to be dropping so many golden nuggets and truth bombs here in this course. I just know you're going to love it. My goal here is to teach you natural gas fundamentals in a fun way because I want you to see how awesome trading is as a profession and how cool it is to think like a trader. I really believe that learning how to think like a trader has made me a much sharper person, better able to read into people's motives, to understand the true intentions behind how they behave in the market in response to various incentives. And we'll get more into thinking like a trader later, but now let's get started with the basics of what natural gas is, what it's used for in module one, introduction to natural gas. The simple answer to the question of what is natural gas is energy. It's a mostly fossil-based energy source, primarily methane, also known as CH4, which is comprised of four hydrogen atoms and one carbon atom. You may know natural gas because of the rotten egg smell when you leave the stove on without igniting the flame. Actually, fun fact, methane itself is odorless, but a smelly, harmless chemical called mercaptan is added to natural gas to help us identify when there's a leak. And if you're wondering where natural gas comes from, it's mostly dead fish and aquatic plants from hundreds of millions of years ago. I like to think of them as dead dinosaurs. We obtain the gas by drilling what is essentially a long straw into the ground until we reach the deposit and can suck it out. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. Besides coming in the form of some sort of underground milkshake, Natural gas is created in some other ways. Uh, you would outlaw uh, cows. Oh, yeah. Uh, cows farting, that would be out. Uh. And while it's true that cow emissions do include methane, this is not a significant source of supply relative to the enormous underground deposits. So we're going to focus most of our attention on the fossil fuel supply. Now that you know what natural gas is and where it comes from, the next logical question is, what do we use it for? In this handy pie chart, you can see that the biggest slice of demand for natural gas is electric power at 35%, then industrial factories at 34% of demand, residential use at 17%, commercial at 12%, and transportation at a mere 3% of demand. These categories are pretty meaningless if you aren't really familiar with what they refer to, so I'm going to drop some ridiculously helpful examples up here. First, electricity generation. When the natural gas goes to an electricity power plant and then that electricity gets sent to your home or office to power things like a heater or air conditioning unit or exercise machine. Yeah. Industrial demand comes from refineries or fertilizer plants, other big plants, basically anything that makes the New Jersey Turnpike smell bad. Residential natural gas goes to things like heaters for your home, you know, stoves for cooking, natural gas powered water heaters. Are you noticing a sort of a trend? Lots of heating applications. Commercial uses are basically the same types used as residential, except instead of heating for your house, it's heating up office buildings and stuff like that. Lastly is transportation, responsible for just 3% of consumption. You probably have not seen a natural gas powered car here in the US because they're not very economical, or maybe it's just because no one wants to drive around looking like there's a nuke in their trunk. Anyway, that's the breakdown of what natural gas is and what it's used for. I started us off pretty easy with a layperson's view of natural gas, but coming up next, we're gonna have a deep dive into how traders think about natural gas. So hurry up and join me in module two, natural gas supply and demand balance sheet fundamentals. Let's go.